So my beautiful people, today I am back with another Elden Ring video and today guys, this is the one. This is the best rune farm so far we have seen in this game. Without a shadow of a doubt, this spot is utterly craziness now. I'll explain exactly how you get here in a quick second. It will take a short mini quest to get here, but you can earn a minimum. I don't even know. There's so many ads here. Let me just quickly count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There's like 20 enemies here, all dropping a minimum of 2,000 runes each. They're easy to kill, and you can do this over and over again. Today, I explain all. How's it going guys? My name's DPG and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so this part of the map is right here. Palace Approach, Ledge Road. It's a place you actually have to uh, use a, like a, a teleporter to get here, which is a quest reward. There is another method in getting here, but it's way, way, way longer and it means that newer players just ain't going to be able to do it. So yes. Okay, so firstly guys, firstly the one major thing you have to do is defeat Radan. That's it. Once you've done that, you are good. You know where he's located right here? Chamber outside the plaza to start the quest. You come here, impassable great bridge, get across here guys. Bam, start it, kill him. He's the boss in this big area here. Loads of cheeses guys, you find loads on YouTube. It's not too bad to be honest, but yeah, I'd say. So once you do that guys, you want to go back to the first point on the map right here the first step upon you getting back here guys you'll see a stone on the floor uh go touch it and it will give you the bravo uh email but it also start off a new quest where it says find yourself maidenless off to luina with you then seek the old church west of the gate town so that's where you need to go so from here guys you need to go to this rose church which you can see located right here on the map. Now upon you getting to the Rose Church, you will see the vendor right here. Upon you talking to him, you need to select, well it will give you two options, you always need to select the top one. Now this varies for different people, for me it, will, it said something different to what my uh, friends said, but it, it's, it's along the lines of the finger seemed a little off. So always select the top dialogue option. Upon doing this guys, he will then, if you keep talking to him, give you the festering bloody finger five of these these are used guys to invade other people's worlds and you have to do this three times you have to invade three people at least three people now upon you doing this guys it doesn't matter if you win lose or whatever go in there find the person you're supposed to be invading let them kill you doesn't matter i found a couple of people sat down next to them for a bit had a little chat you know what i mean and then they just killed me simple as that so yeah, do this three times and then you are good. You then guys need to go back to that rose church. This time though, he will give you a new item called the Lord of Blood's Favor. And what this is for is you need to use this item and dip it in the blood of a maiden. So from here guys, you want to head up the map. And if you've got the checkpoint or the grace, the Grand Lift of Dectus, you want to go to here. And from this position guys, you need to follow where I go because we're going to the Church of Inhibition. But you do have to be careful here guys because you will build up madness running up a couple of the hills so you have to be careful but when you actually uh, get up to the actual church that we're getting up to you'll be invaded by an npc called festering fingerprint vike who you do have to take out so take him out people but once you are done with him guys go inside of the church as i do on screen now you'll get a sacred tier on the statue to the left of it, you'll get the Finger Maiden uh, armor set. But also, guys, this continues on the quest where you dip that cloth in that blood. So yeah, guys, make sure all dialogue options there are done and continue on with this quest. Then you have to head back to the Rose Church. And here, guys, you then have to offer this dude your finger and he basically cuts it off you get for this uh, the bloody finger but if you speak to him again guys you'll get the pure blood knights medal and this is actually the item we use to teleport to this said area so go into your inventory guys and use it now when you appear here it's very important that you follow the path i take 
I mean, I do go here and there just to grab a few items, but you ultimately need to end up at this grey, so you can trigger the grey, so you can do this farm. So go as well, I go on screen now, and you should be good people. So once you have this grace activated, you can do this farm indefinitely. Like I said, 2000 plus runes per enemy you kill. Now, if you do have the gold scarab uh, talisman, which I'll post a guide in the video description, uh, this actually buffs your rune gains by 20% indefinitely, as long as you've got it equiped. You can also use the gold pickled foul foot as well. Uh, this again, I believe it's an extra 15% for three minutes on runes earned so yeah make the most of it people so if you've killed radan and you've done that quite a while back and you go back to the point of the very first step grace and this uh, npc or this thing ain't here to trigger try going to the rose church and see if the vendor is there if the vendor ain't there or you've accidentally killed him people you still do this farm but the actual trek is unbelievable and I mean, it's absolutely unbelievable. You will have to go through a few bosses. The first one being uh, Phantom Godfrey. You'll then have to kill Morgan the Omen King. You then guys will have to traverse all the way up to the top here. I'm going to cast a soul and defeat a dude called Commander Neil, I believe it is. He will then give you an item. I think it's half a medallion. You'll then have to go to an NPC. Uh, I can't remember where the NPC is, but there's a guide on YouTube and I was watching it. The NPC, I think, will fulfill the whole uh, medallion. You will then have to go to the Grand Lift of Road. I believe you get an alternative option to go down. And it just goes on from there, guys. So, yeah, it is a crazy quest. Uh, if I can find the video I was watching, I'll link it down below. But this is definitely your best bet, especially if you're around the level 40 to 60. If you ain't, I wouldn't even worry about this farm yet. And I'll do other ones. It's as simple as that, guys but there we have it people and i hope the video helped you out if it did leave a like it really helps me out if you're new around here and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully people i will see you on that next one